Hey guys, welcome back to Brian's Train Room. In 1950, Lionel was celebrating its golden anniversary, 50 years of making trains. And when you look through the consumer catalog, absolutely fantastic stuff. But in the spring, of course, they came out with the dealer display catalog. Now on this channel, we've done a number of dealer display catalogs, and let me tell you, they are fantastic and a lot of fun to go through. Let me tell you, 1950 does not disappoint. And that's coming your way. With Lionel's exclusive magnet traction, a sensational track gripping power that lets them climb steep grades, take sharp curves faster, pull many more cars, and stop on a dime for loading and unloading. Okay, so as mentioned, uh, we've done on this channel a number of Lionel uh, dealer display catalogs, and this is the 1950. I was able to get my hands on one of these, and these are a little bit tougher, and unfortunately the condition of this one's not as great as some of the other ones, but it's still absolutely fantastic. So let's take a little peek and see how we're doing here, okay? All right, so first of all, this is the cover. It just says Lionel displays for 1950, the golden anniversary year, okay? All right, it's about uh, 12 inches tall, and it sits eight inches wide, okay? All right, and this is a little bit different catalog um, than some of the other ones that I've shown in the past, okay? Because it opens up a little bit differently, okay? So it kind of opens up, but actually sort of fans and opens up to almost kind of like a poster, okay? It's not multiple pages, it's kind of more like a poster, uh, which measures 12 inches uh, tall by 24 inches wide. And we're gonna take a little closer look and take a little peek at what jumps off the page, starting with this first display. So it starts off saying, hey, sensational Lionel action displays. Okay, so it's talking about this display right here. And this display is the Lionel number 11 display. Now the base is approximately four foot by six foot. It's substantially made of wood and beautifully decorated. And these are really nice displays when you've seen them. And I'll show one in person somewhere along the way on this channel. But today, let's figure out if you were looking at this in early 1950 going, hey, is this a display that I want to buy? So it starts off as this display cost $42, okay? Now, in 1950, $42 was equivalent of about $500 to $525. So it was not cheap to be able to get this display, but it was affordable from a display standpoint. Okay, so let's see the parameters of this display. The size of the platform is approximately four foot by six foot. It's a colorful display that can be used either in an island position, against a wall, or in a window. So it gave a lot of usefulness to the individuals who were interested in this display. Three side compartment uh, are illuminated, which is here, here, and here. These are illuminated. And the Lionel train operates on a beautifully landscaped base. Basically, it was a board with some landscaping on there. I wouldn't call it beautiful, but hey, it was still um, landscaped. Display is wired for operation, all four accessories. And five sets of Lionel trains can be displayed. So you'd have a set here, 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 and one running. Okay, so you know, pretty impressive display for your $42. Um, on this side, it says, hey, what's included? So the fixture includes the following merchandise only. Again, this is really important. They were good about this throughout all these dealer displays saying, hey, don't be confused about what you get. You don't get the sets, but you do get some track, you get um, some sections here, you get a switch and a special operating track, and that's it because it says specifically no other merchandise included in the cost of this display. So this great set here and here and here and all the accessories, none of that was included. You basically got the board, you got the little name thing over the top, and you got the switches, all the track, everything had to be attached to the board. That's what you got for $42 and um, just an absolutely fantastic display. It talks a little bit more about it, but it said, hey, this is a great display, but keep in mind, dealers, you can sell the base to a customer when the season is over. It's a handsome, sturdy, attractive layout in a small space. And of course, some people will be looking for that too. So that dealer would still be able to recuperate some of the cost of that display. 
There's some smaller print here that basically talks a little bit about how it functions and how to use it. Um, this attractive display can be used in an island position or placed against the wall or featured in a window. The base of which the Lionel train can be operated is beautifully landscaped and completely wired for the operation of the train. While provision is made for the inclusion of the following accessories, a 151, a 154, a 145, and a 242. Wires for connecting these accessories come through the base. All that is required to attach accessories is the wires and the screw to the base. Five steps are provided for the display of Lionel trains, three side compartments that are illuminated. Okay, so it did kind of reiterate that. Order now, don't wait, I mean, come on, and then the Lionel Corporation. So again, this is an absolutely fantastic display. Who would not want one of these? And these are highly desirable by display collectors, and they look really great um, on display, displaying some of your trains. So this is a really, um, really fantastic piece. So I'm going to show you some highlights, or we'll scan in on this one, and we'll certainly show that to you. Now there's a whole lot more to this catalog, certainly, and as you go over to this side of the sort of fold out, it talks about a couple other displays that'll help you sell uh, your trains, okay? You may not only just want this, you may want some other things too. What about accessories? Well, so it starts talking about saying Lionel selling displays. These again, help you sell the things you need even after the set has been sold. So let's start off here with this display right here, okay? So sell more accessories with the new Lionel display panel number 20, okay, which is this right here, which highlighted accessories, okay? So every consumer wants more Lionel accessories, and here's the way to show them and sell them. This is a step fixture for display of the following accessories, okay? All right, so it would show or be able to display a 394, a 395, a 455, um, a 71, and some others on here, okay? All right, with a total list value of $45.60, okay? And that's interesting because this display costs $29.25, which is approximately $375 in today's buying power. So important, some small print, of course, and it says the fixture is completely wired, all wires extending through the base ready for attaching. Screw holes are provided for easy affixing of accessories. When transformer is attached, all accessories will light, light and go on. Push button is used to put accessories into operation. Display is of wood, handsomely decorated, all accessories come packed in individual cartons. This is absolutely fantastic because there are some that come in their little boxes or so too, which is really kind of neat. So I love this. And again, you get everything that's shown in the picture. Not always the case. Remember, you didn't get your sets here, but here you get all the accessories that are shown as a nice sort of package for your $29 and you're getting $45 worth of value. So this is really, really cool. Um, they made this style display for multiple years as some different numbers. So um, if you're a collector, there's specific one to 1950 and this is what you're showing right here. Right below it is the two boards, and you've seen these, I've seen these before, or if you've ever seen these, they do come up, and these are really kind of fantastic pieces, um, and this is, would be something you'd also consider buying for your store to display the things that, hey, is really gonna bring in the money, which is the track to expand these guys' layouts. So let's take a little peek at these together, and again, somewhere along the way, we're gonna show these displays um, in more detail on this channel, but today, let's take a little peek with what that dealer would buy. So the first is the Lionel 027 gauge track board, okay, or the O gauge track board, which is here. So let's explore the 027. So on the 027 board, it says right out where your customers can see them, the essential 027 track accessories on a handsomely finished wood panel, okay? All right, and basically, what do you get? Well, on this wood panel, okay, you would get a... Um, you would get this display consists of the following merchandise. It'd have a curved track, a straight track, a bumper, a crossing, a CTC lock-on, a right-hand remote control switch, 
and a left-hand manual switch, okay? You basically got about $15.80 worth of merchandise, and the whole thing only cost you $12. Now, $12 back in 1950 was approximately $140, $150, okay? And this is for this, just this board. Uh, these are kind of a painted blue, have some white lettering, and they usually have prices on too, as far as what each piece was, help the dealer sell these items, okay? All right, the panels measure approximately 24 inches by 30 inches. So they have some pretty good size to them um, and they look great, but if you have them, you usually gotta get the pair to match them next to each other, okay? These boards are beautifully finished, stock numbers and prices shown beneath each item. That's what you get. Now let's take a look at the O-Gage board. Basically the O-Gage board is very similar to the O-27, of course has O-Gage track in it, and you get a little bit more with it too. And of course the O-Gage material was a little bit more expensive. All right, so for $18, which is again the equivalent of about $200 back in 1950, you get the display number 22. This is display number 21. This is display number 22. Shown where your customers can see them, handsomely enameled, wooden panel on which accessories are rigidly mounted, okay? You get curve track, half track, straight track, bumper, 90 degree crossing, 40 degree crossing. You get a right hand remote control switch and a left hand manual switch. About $25.85 worth of value um, for $18. Again, kind of a no-brainer for these dealers to buy these. They were affordable, they really showed well, and helped sell more track, which expanded people's layouts. And if you expand your layout, then you need more accessories. I mean, why wouldn't you get that? Absolutely super, super cool. I'm gonna show you one of these um, at some future episodes. Now, of course, this catalog, which opens up to 12 by 24, shows the displays on one side, which means there's still some room for some stuff on the other side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna flip these pages over now this is the cover, so on sort of the back, and we're gonna put it right here for you, it shows a little bit of saying, hey, these are the things that are coming in 1950. Also give you a little bit of sort of like, hey, remember, we wanna get this rolling. So these just shows a little bit more of an advertisement of what's coming. And this says new additions to the Lionel line for 1950, okay? well. New for 1950 was the Lionel KW 190 watt transformer, okay, which sold for $17.95. Again, that was a $200 transformer, but pretty powerful, could run quite a bit. Below it uh, is the new number 927 Lionel Lubricating Kit. I would love to find one that actually looks like this. This is not what they look, look like, uh, but these were really popular. You can find them everywhere, and you kind of need one. If you're an operator, this has some really great stuff that you need to have, okay? And it sold for $1.25 each, okay? So again, these were good sellers, and you needed them. All right, the next was the LTC Lionel Lock-On with light. So this was basically a common lock-on that you get, but had a light on it to add a little bit extra feature to it. Um, this is for O and O27 gauge track, and they're gonna sell for 50 cents. You also get, hey, guess what? Uh, o gauge track in O72 radius, okay? Which, again, we had some big engines coming up, and the O, regular O gauge track didn't have the, the radius that you would have wanted. So you want to do larger O gauge or O72 gauge radius, which would be um, really great for especially some of the bigger engines. And if you've got a big layout, you need this track. Um, and again, these go six, come 16 to a box for $6.50 per carton. And then lastly, you get the number 40, which is the Lionel cable reels, all right? And these are really cool. Um, here is a much needed accessory for connecting wires, all the stuff that you need, they're available. Uh, packages of eight reels, two each of four colors, price 75 cents for each reel. So again, gave the dealers a little bit of a heads up of some of the stuff that was coming up. All right, and then it says Lionel Corporation, 15 East 26th Street, New York 10, New York. Again, this is an absolutely fantastic catalog. I'm gonna kind of fold this thing back together. These are a little fragile. I'm glad I was able to get my hands on one of these to share with you guys too. 
Really, really cool. The 1950 Lionel Dealer Display Catalog. All right, that was fun. Appreciate you watching my video. Uh, if you like what you see, hey, give me a big thumbs up. If you wanna see more, hey, please subscribe. We also have a comment section down below. I wanna hear from you. Let me know how I'm doing and how I can make these better. You know, I don't do this alone. I do have a number of friends and fellow collectors who have shared their collections uh, with me to make these fun videos for you guys too. At the end, I've got a nice list of those individuals who've helped me out. I cannot thank them enough. Well, that was it for today. Hey, thanks for joining me on Brian's Train Room. Lionel Express, all aboard. Look at her streak along the rails. It's a Lionel. <laughs>